Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing another pen from Gravitas Pens. Now this is how the pen uh, is shipped out in a sort of a faux like leather, you know, little sleeve, which is really nice. Um, with Gravitas Pens on it in multiple formats uh, printed there. Um, and including their lovely little logo there, which I think is great. Um, this pen is the entry. Um, this is the one of the latest designs from uh, Ben Walsh there at Gravitas Pens, and it is an anodized aluminium, slightly bead blasted finish, uh, and this is what he considers to be, you know, a great pen for beginners or, you know, sort of fountain pen lovers um, across the board. Uh, and it's, as I said, it's called the Entry. It's a not a huge pen, um, but it is a well-proportioned pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about, you know, the pen in all the details, uh, size comparisons, all that stuff, writing sample, and then some pros and cons. Okay. So as I said, this is an anodized aluminium pen. It has been bead blasted, uh, and it comes in many finishes. There's lots of different colors that are available in this pen. This is the uh, olive gray, uh, and there's a couple of, if you go onto the Gravitas Pens website, there's a huge, not huge, but like a good range of colors, and there's, you know, constant different versions of these things being produced. Ben is very, very busy over there. Um, we'll start at the top of the pen. It's got a really nice sort of conical top there, and then the cap swells out and then back down to a little step down off the cap onto the barrel, which travels along and then tapers down quite significantly to a cone end there. Um, I like those cones and I like the balance that uh, the two cones gives this pen. It unscrews um, in just over two turns uh, and shows a really nice section that isn't exactly, it sort of tapers, but it tapers very gradually and then tapers down into that flare, giving you an interesting place to sort of hold the pen. Uh, and then we've got a number six Yovo nib there. One thing I would really like to see eventually is uh, the nibs getting branded with the Gravitas logo, just that little um, arrow symbol there. I think that would look absolutely awesome on these nibs. The pens are available with a range of nib options, everything from extra fine through to 1.5 millimeter stub nibs uh, and all steel at this point. Um, the pen, as I said, Smooth threads, no step, no real step down onto the section there. The section is PVD uh, coated and has these little grooves in it, which mean that it's never slick, it's not slippery, uh, and it's a very, very comfortable section to hold. It's also a weighted section, so it leads the weight down into the fingers, which is my absolute preference. I think that is an absolutely great um balance for a pen is to have the weight in your fingers not on the back it just means that writing becomes more comfortable you actually don't feel the weight of the pen in your hand as much the pen does post and it posts incredibly deeply like we're talking to within a couple of millimeters of the end of the cap there um, and so what that does is it gives you a very well balanced nice feel in the hand and the cap rim there isn't isn't uh, hitting on anything it's sitting nice and balanced in your hand and it's, uh, i think it'd be a good size for most users and the balance is good in this format the pen is described as being light and in comparison to a couple of the other pens from gravitas pens it is a lighter pen uh, but it is still not super light so you feel like you've got a good pen in your hand when you're writing when you unscrew the barrel of the pen it's got a good number of screws there the pen is metal so you cannot make it an eyedropper um, it reveals a standard international converter, uh, which is great. It comes with the converter and also comes with uh, some cartridges. Uh, and as I said, they are standard international. So you have a choice of what you put in there, um, which is really great. And the threads there are they're a little noisy, but nice and smooth and very, very secure. Let's do a couple of size comparisons now. First thing I wanted to show alongside is another Gravitas Pens fountain pen this is the skittles um you can see it is a much bigger pen it's both longer uh, and considerably girthier and also much heavier um and of course alami safari for size comparison now you'll see it's about the same length as alami safari uh, perhaps ever so slightly longer with those conical ends so it's a pretty it's like it's not a small pen it's just a, a nice sort of everyday size pen uncapped now you actually see it's a fairly decent length um, it's longer than both the Lamy and the Skittles, and it actually, uh, feel, you feel that in your hand, and because it does post deeply, as we'll see in a second, uh, it's a very balanced size in your hand. So the Skittle doesn't post. It's designed not to post. 
uh, it would be ridiculously long. In fact, the earlier versions, you could screw the cap onto the end and it just became very, very long. Um, so you see when it is, uh, when the entry there is cap posted, it's actually still a pretty sort of standard length pen, much shorter there than the Lamy Safari in that format. So let's talk about the size now of this pen. So it's 145 millimeters. So it's a, as I said, good length. Uncapped, it's 138, which is a great length. You could definitely, most people could definitely write with this pen unposted, um, but because it does post very deeply, coming out about 147, it's only a couple of millimeters longer than the uh, capped version of the pen. Um, it actually is very comfortable in the hand. As I said, it's a good length and the weight is, any extra weight from that cap is sitting there on the webbing of your hand, but because of this weighted section, the balance is perfect in my opinion. The pen weighs 31 grams, 24 in the body, seven in the cap. So the ratio there I think is really great. Time for a writing sample now with the Gravitas pens entry. This is a number six Yovo medium nib steel. The ink I'm using today is from Kiwi Inks. It's an American company that do, uh, um, how do I put this? Um, like individual batches or custom inks. Uh, and in fact, I gave this particular color as a code, like the color code, and they made this ink for me and I asked for it to be slightly wet and that's what we get. I've named this um, Hurricane Purple. And I cannot write today, so forgive that. It's all wrong. Um, the Hobart Hurricanes is a cricket team that I follow. Their outfit is purple, and I tried to match it fairly close, and I, I'm quite happy with that. Um, okay, let's do some writing. It's fairly smooth. Is it the smoothest pen I've used? No, it's not, but it is very smooth. It's slightly feedbacky, definitely not scratchy. It's well tuned and wet enough. It's not the, it's not, you know, a flex nib or anything like that. It's a fairly stiff nib, uh, but it writes well, it writes smoothly and it writes reliably. Um, super reliable, like really that's quick writing, no hard starts, no skipping, nothing like that. One thing I will say about Gravitas pens and Ben Walsh there is that every step of the design process, of the manufacturing, of the quality control, of the nibs, the nib housings, all of that is overseen in meticulous detail by Ben. And that is so, so commendable. What you end up getting is a pen that you can rely on, that you know will write, that all the parts are spot on. He could have gone down cheaper options for manufacturing. He could have gone down cheaper options for nibs. A lot of other companies do. But he gets them manufactured to nano degrees of precision and as I said he looks over every part every nib before it goes out before it is put together that's what he does there are no defects when you get your pen from Gravitas pens I've now had a few pens from him and they all write beautifully consistently and all the manufacturing is spot on let's now talk pros and cons for the Gravitas Pens entry. Let's start with the cons. Well, once again, a slightly personal one for me are some of the noises that the pen makes. That noise. You've got threads on the inside of the cap here, and then you've got these grooves on the section. I don't love that noise, but I understand that they are kind of going to happen. Same with that metal on metal is not a noise that I love. 
But what are you going to do other than putting a plastic liner in the cap and all those kinds of things? In these pens, the inner cap is built into the pen. So you're not like, there's not extra bits sort of added for all of that. Um, the other thing that might be an issue for some people is that this pen does not have a roll stop. So if you get it rolling, it is just going to roll. Now, Ben is very specific about not putting roll stops or caps or uh, clips on pens and things because I think because it uh, disrupts the uh, design, the aesthetic of the pen, which I understand that's a choice that his company makes and I don't have an issue with that. Um, future pens, however, will have a, um, not these pens particularly, but other pens in his line will have similar to the twist pen, uh, which is a ballpoint pen, a rollable pen from Gravitas Pens, um, this sort of flat edge, which works as sort of like a roll stop, but also a really great place to hold the pen. So some future designs um, are going to incorporate that element where it doesn't get in the way. Um, it would get in the way of this pen, um, and so just be aware, no roll stop. But the pros of this pen are huge. Firstly, um, the balance. That weighted section is awesome i can't i can't stress enough how much i enjoy the weight of this pen in my hand um, it's great second big feature it's a number six yovo nib so while you can get it with extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 1.5 millimeter stub nibs you can replace the nib with like a large range of standard number six nibs that fit in that housing so you know, if you've got other Yovo nibs lying around or, you know, custom grinds from Franklin Christoph or whatever the case may be, they will fit in this pen. So your nib options are kind of endless. Um, I really love the length of the pen, both capped and uh, posted and unposted. I think it's just got like a nice sort of size to it. I love the minimal branding. Like, he has a distinct look of his pens. And particularly things like the finish on the Skittles is basically branding, you know, in itself. But just that one little logo I think is very nice and it's subtly placed and I think it's actually a very attractive logo and works well on the aesthetic of the pen. Another thing I really love, and I'm, you know, I've, I've spoken about the quality control and how everything he does, he oversees, you know, the initial sketches are all his, the prototypes, the, you know, all those manufacturing levels that go through and all the places he he's, you know, looked at to get them manufactured. But what I really enjoy is that Ben isn't trying to reinvent anything. He has a couple of unique elements to some of his pens, but he's not reinventing anything. What he is doing is he's combining elements of, of pens through, you know, research within the community, feedback, all of these kinds of things to create a pen or pens that are a really lovely combination of elements. So he got, you know, after this pen, the feedback, he's now making a larger version, the Sentry, um, which is, you know, just a slightly bigger version of this pen with all these same features. So things like the weighted section, the, you know, the, the Yovo nibs, all these kinds of things. These are all elements of the pens that he has, you know, worked out and through process of design and, you know, consultation and things. And he just continues to create pens that are so serviceable, and this would make a great everyday writing pen, like a really, really great everyday writer because it is consistent, it's reliable, it writes well, and it is durable because it's metal, it's, you know, you could put this in your bag, you might eventually get a few scratches, but this this finish is really resistant to that. Um, so it's a durable, reliable pen, so what else do you want? So I hope you found this video on the, oh, I should say, the price of this pen, I didn't cover that, 55 euro so depending on where you are in the world postage and all those kinds of things and the conversion rates i think it's in a pretty good place in the market it's a well it's a really really well made pen um, and i don't think it's an excessive cost um, i think there are a lot of people who talk about you know it's just another metal machined pen um, and that you know that is a slightly high price for that i disagree i think it's actually a very very good price point it's not a super expensive pen it's an entry pen um and at 55 euro there are a lot of other pens on the market that are in the same sort of category uh and i think with the yovo nib a nice section the nice sort of design the great finish the really beautiful color like i, I this olive gray is just gorgeous um as i mean in the other finishes it is i think in a very very good price point 
So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.